Well, spending time with family and friends of the holidays is what we look forward to all year long. So this holiday season, we thought we would give you some new recipes to look forward to in case you wanted to mix it up a little bit. Executive chef Charles, is it Cass Castles? Cassells. Cassells, of course, from El Toro Lodge is sharing some seasonal favorites today. And he is starting off with one of my favorites, butternut squash soup. I love it's, butternut squash soup. It is. Soup. It's law local as well. It comes from Litchfield Park from Duncan Family Farms. Oh, we love an old them. friend of mine. And uh, it's a very simple recipe. We start with a little bit of onions. Okay. And we're going to sweat in some whole butter. So a little bit of onions meaning one onion? One onion. Okay. And one we are going to have the recipe um, on our website yep. as well. And it's, it's actually, this is really simple. You can make it in a crock pot as well. It's really is it good to freeze? Can you freeze? Yes, you can soup? freeze it. Okay. Yes, you can. And if then, I'm going to spend time in the kitchen, I want to make like a double batch. Exactly. I mean, especially <laughs> then, when the weather gets cold, just make it, freeze it, you bring it out, especially with the kids. You don't have time for it anymore. Exactly. And you know, right? With oh. your busy schedule with your kids. I'm <laughs> telling you, it's a, it's a lot of fun. But, uh, you know, and it takes all the good flavors of fall. You've got the fresh apple. So this is squash. adding more of the sweetness to the yeah, dish. Yeah, this will add you the sweetness. And we're putting the skin in too? Put the skin in too. Okay. You know what? I like apple skin, so why not put it in the soup? Okay. I don't know. I guess that sometimes I just think the consistency Well, you strain peel. it out. You strain it okay. out. Okay. Uh, at the end. So that way we don't get yep. any of the You don't the get peel. any of the other stuff. And then you just sort of let that go away. You season it up with a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, wait. What's this? That would be a little bit of whole potato. Okay, so you snuck that snuck one the in there. Potato on me. in on you. You got to give it a little thickener. The butternut squash is not a really thick-bodied soup, so to give you that that hardiness for the winter time. Okay. You put in a whole peeled potato. Okay. And uh, you let that cook with it. Okay. And you just sort of let it go. All right. And it's great. Uh, so we're sweating out. You said the onions. Sweating right? the onions, and then you're getting the butternut squash and the apples in there. So how long is is this going to stay in there until it it softens up? Yeah, until so it softens while, up. Right? It could be a little while, but you know, you just let it sort of go for a little bit, and then as soon as it softens up, you just add your chicken stock. Okay. And now while we're doing this, I want to let everybody know um, El Toro Lodge. I actually just found this out that you guys are like the place to be. It is for the <laughs> best cocktail party the night before Thanksgiving in the state of Arizona. Yes, and I've heard that over and over. I was asking people, what are they doing? So I asked you, I'm like, why? I mean, how long have you guys been there? We've been there for 74 years. Okay. Since 1937. So it's really become a holiday tradition for a lot of families. You right. come. You know, you come with your friends the night before Thanksgiving, you come with your family on Thanksgiving. Right. And the nice thing is, all you got to do is, uh, you don't have to do anything. And I hear that you're going to have, like, pumpkin martinis. And pumpkin martinis. Uh, you know, we've got a great wines by the glass selection. Uh, we'll do a three-course menu, cho choice of super salad. Okay. You know, that's for Thanksgiving, that's not for, for the cocktail party. The cocktail party, it's pretty much anything goes. Okay. That it's, sounds uh, like so much fun. It is. It, it's... With you the know, fireplace roaring and... Fireplaces. We've got 12 of them. Okay. Pick one. 12 okay. fireplaces So we are go. going to um, let that sort of soften Sim everything yeah. up. We're going to just simmer it all up. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically you just oh. cook it and then you just puree it up in a blender. You just take a... And then just strain it and that's uh, it? Strain it and that is it. And you are ready to go. And it is the simplest thing in the world if you're... Uh, so what is making it sweet? The, the sweetness comes the from sweetness the apples. sweetness comes from the apple. Okay. And the, the nice thing about this one is you can take this recipe any way you want. In Santa Fe, uh -huh. I'd add a little bit of red chili to it to okay. bring the Southwest flavor in. You can add a little honey. You can add a little sherry vinegar. Now, you, do you put something on the top of it? I put a little something on the top of it. We've got some creme fraiche here. Mm. So really, uh, really nice. Uh, or some pine nuts or some... Pine nuts are great. You know, it's a big pumpkins? allergy thing. Pumpkin oh, yeah. seeds. Okay. You can make the same soup with pumpkin. That's the beauty of this one. Oh, okay. All the gourds work about the same way. So, you know, basically it's oh, that just looks a little beautiful. bit of soup in there. Perfect. A little dollop of the creme fraiche. So everyone can make this themselves or yeah. they can um, head on over to El Choro Lodge. El Choro on Thanksgiving and, and a little bit of fresh tarragon for garnish from our garden. And beautiful. there you go, butternut squash soup. I think I'd rather you make it for me, though. <laughs> okay, so when we come back, uh, are we going to dig into the Waldorf salad? We will do the Waldorf salad and then finish up with beef stroganoff last. See? Perfect. It, we're, it's a little twist. It's not yeah. your typical turkey. We're doing beef stroganoff. Exactly. It's okay. probably our best seller over the holiday season. All right. I'm ready for it. Thank you so much, You're Charles. Welcome. We'll be back in the kitchen in just a few minutes.